in Facebook, right? So that's my target audience. So obviously I'll find them on Facebook. Now th Jean-Serge Daniel and here today we're going to talk about how do you grow your audience on Facebook organically how do you grow the top five ways to grow your audience organically on Facebook and it works for other platforms too but we're going to focus on Facebook I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I talk about these five different ways but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so if you want to sell anything online, you have a course you want to create and sell no matter what you do you'll need an audience you're going to need people to actually show your stuff to so that they'll actually buy from you there's a whole bunch of processes involved but that's you know you need an audience and if you're going to be using facebook there's different ways that you can create an audience obviously you can do ads you can pay for it but we're going to talk about organic which means no ads which means you taking actions yourself or maybe hiring a VA but still we're gonna be talking about you what you can do as a person to grow your audience before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're gonna to want to go check out the video at cis448.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and giving you exact examples of what I'm talking about all right so let's get right to it let's first start by telling you what exactly I mean by uh, by by uh, growing your audience right so the f five ways there's lots of other options you can do but these really are the five top ways that you should be trying to use to grow your audience right number one finding your audience in groups and answering their questions that's something that all leaders talk about especially nowadays with Facebook is going into groups and answering people's questions I'm going to kind of show you what I mean by that if it's not obvious but uh, we'll still give you examples right the other thing is you've got to create content that they're interested in now obviously that means you have to know who your audience is you have to know what they're interested in you have to you have to know what they're not in not what they're wanting to avoid you know so you can create content that they're actually interested in you got to know what they're interested in and one of the things that is very common is is when you're building your business online you're thinking well uh, I don't know what they're interested in you know I think everybody wants everything and uh, they should be interested in what I have and it doesn't really matter but that's not the point the point is not finding out what your audience is interested in it's about deciding you decide what they're interested in you build your content based on that and you move forward now you can be wrong and maybe you have to adjust later on but it's all about a decision a decision to go and do it and move forward all right so you got to create content that they are interested in based on who you decided you wanted to um, create content for and what they are interested in that you decided they're interested in and then that's kind of how you do you got to create content you've got to engage on their posts so that means going to their personal profile or possibly going in the news feed but you've got to be engaging on their posts the posts of your audience the posts of the people that you're trying to attract to you that you want to be in your audience right we're going to talk about examples of that you've got to you can and these last two are kind of like you know what lots of leaders talk about and they this these methods do kind of work a little bit but you got to be really careful because you can do that and it's really easy to do that following your compet your competition's followers I'm going to show you what I mean by that and how to do it and then sending friend requests with private messages there's 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 ways to do that you can randomly send friend requests obviously but that that's not very you know efficient because for well for lots of reasons but anyways we're not going to get into that but I kind of wanted to kind of right away give you the list of the five ways that I'm talking about now if that's something that you're interested in finding out more obviously keep listening and keep watching the video because I'm going to be showing you what I mean by all these things all right so let's uh, just move that out of the way here and put that over here on my other screen so that I can refer back to it okay so the first thing we talked about is finding them in groups right so 
in Facebook if you're on Facebook right you're going to see something like that whoops let's just uh, see what I've got there yeah so you're going to see something like that like for me I've got a cover photo and a profile obviously by the way that's super important to have a you know a cover photo that kind of tells people what you're about what you're what you do an intro and kind of a background and that kind of stuff you kind of have to have that otherwise when somebody comes to your page they won't they're going to be like what do you do what are you about right so it's important for them to know so that's that's a sidebar a side note it's not one of the five things but it's important to have as well so as you can see right here I have 6,400 followers to be honest with you I didn't even realize I had that many um, I thought I was close more close to the 5,000 I guess the for the following nowadays with Facebook that's basically your friends right you got 5,000 friends you can have now with the profiles you can have a business profile a I don't know if the, does it yeah it says right here profile digital creator so you can have a uh, different kinds of profiles actually let's take a look at that I wonder if that's a profile this profile profile created profile I don't know if you can change it uh, I guess you can do ads now once you have a profile uh, you probably could edit it anyways I'd, and if you haven't set up your profile as a business profile yet you're not gonna whoops you're not gonna see this here you're not gonna see profile it'll just say maybe it'll say personal I don't really know um, because I don't remember anymore but yeah so that's the thing so your profile okay so let's talk about what are we talking about finding them in or in groups right okay so in Facebook there's lots of different ways to access the groups you can click on this little icon up here it just gives you your group feed now your group feed is going to be posts that are based on which groups you're in and Facebook's decision as to what to show you in this feed right based on your past activities and you know how many uh, posts you've liked in groups and not and, and you know was it there's a whole algorithm around that and we're not going to talk about that but point is that to find uh, people in groups you got to find groups that are uh, related to who your target market is like I said earlier you have to decide who your target audience is right you've got to decide who they are what they're interested in what they're trying to avoid you know so for example you could say well these I'm interested in people or my audience in my case is affiliate marketers right people who are building their business online who are trying to grow an audience online who are trying to sell something online using social media specifically more specifically even using Facebook right so that's my target audience so obviously I'll find them on Facebook now this uh, episode is about uh, growing your audience on Facebook organically but you can do some of these things on other platforms depending on whether they have these features right obviously groups not all platforms have groups so finding specific people that are interested like in Instagram it'd be more like using hashtags um, or you know in, in LinkedIn there's groups too so you can kind of use that too but the idea is finding people in groups and the groups are basically you just search for groups right I can go over here and in my case since I'm in, aff in affiliate marketing I would say affiliate marketing I would actually type affiliate marketing there right if you're into weight loss you would actually say lose weight use weight well let's just say lose weight right so whoops I didn't even type it right <laughs> let's put the s back there okay so once you type your search here it'll show you groups well it'll show you all sorts of things but in my case I want groups to help you lose weight right so I click on groups and they'll give me groups that are about you know weight loss weight loss tips weight loss losing weight lose weight fitness exercise lose weight lose weight help me lose weight right so now you've got a whole bunch of groups here that are about what your target market is interested in if you choose oh sorry if you're selling a product to help people lose weight then you want to find people that are interested in losing weight and how do you find that you find them using the groups so then you would just go to these groups now I'm already in some of these groups so I'm going to go into the groups I'm in already to kind of show you the next step but the idea is right finding them in groups and answering their questions so what does that mean right if I go into groups I'm already in uh, follow 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 I don't think I might I might not even be in any of these groups so it'll say follow group or just so follow group is because they're public groups so you can follow groups usually that means you're able to access the group right away as soon as you follow it if they're private groups see like this one's private then you have to join it first sometimes they'll have questions and the admins will have to approve you 
and that kind of stuff. So that's the difference between private and public groups, right? There's also a third kind of group which does not show up in the search, which is called a, a, a secret group. And those secret groups won't show up when you search for them, but you might still be in them if you've been invited by friends to be in those groups because they can send you invites as long as they're friends of yours to secret groups, right? So that's possible too. All right, so that's... Um, so that's the thing about group. okay so let's because i'm not in in the weight loss i'm in more in affiliate marketing i'm actually going to go into affiliate marketing groups marketing let's say affiliate marketing tips <coughs> if i click again as you can see there's only two showing up here you can click on see all but you just click on groups right here and it'll show you uh, groups that are related to your search, right? So Affiliate Marketing International, Affiliate Marketing, Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, Beginners. So all these follow group. Let's see if there's any that I'm in already. You can actually click on, you know, I'm, I've got a whole bunch, I'm in a bunch of groups. So I can just say public groups or, I don't know if my groups is, is it groups I'm in or groups I'm in? Yeah, groups I'm in. So I, I'm in, you know, just a few af groups that have the word affiliate marketing in it. So let's just go into affiliate marketing worldwide right here. So this will obviously be, well, most likely be kind of a spam group where people post a whole bunch of stuff. But that is kind of what you, you you're going to want to find a group that's a, a little bit more, you know, not spammy, like, like 300,000 people in a group is definitely going to be spammy most likely, right? You're going to want to find a group that has less spam, but still the, the purpose is go through the posts in the group and, you know, if somebody is asking, there you go, here's, a, na, 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 there you go. So this one here is a great idea. Somebody just says hi. So, you know, I can, I can actually react to this and say, hey, how's it going? Right. So they're ask, they're actually asking for this kind of engagement. They're just saying, saying hello and, her, her, you know, talk soon. Hey, how's it going? Right. So I'm just going to do that. Now, obviously, this person well, maybe not obviously, but most likely this person is doing that to get people to engage on his posts so that they can then reach out to you and maybe spam you, right? But this is still, I know that this person here is somebody who's in my target market. So I know that he's interested in affiliate marketing or he's trying to sell some sort of affiliate marketing product. So that means he knows about affiliate marketing. And in my case, since I'm into that, I, I want to maybe connect with them or not, right? It depends. But the thing is that now that I've found a post here, right, I can go to his page just by clicking his name there, right? And over here, there's a view main profile. So I go to view main profile and I can see whether they post anything, right? So he... So this is, yeah, somebody who's trying to promote something. But the idea is if they weren't just promoting stuff, they might be posting things like, here's a picture, aircraft, a few years back. So 2021. So I guess he posted things uh, not long ago. But the idea is here that you would go to their page like this, and you would actually comment on their stuff. Now, this particular thing is a page. It's a business page. It's not a person. So let's go back and find a person in the post because that'll make a difference, right? Am I, yeah, still in there. Okay, so let's just go to building an empire. Mm, that's still the same one. So I just want to kind of show you a real, a person, right? Video amazing. No, this is just, so maybe let's just go to something a little bit less, like click funnel is still pretty, uh, Okay, this one here has only 92 members, so let's go take a look at this. I think this is one of my friends that created this group. Yeah, Alvin Timms. Okay, so this one here is going to be a little bit more. So that's him posting. Let's see if he lets anybody else post. So, no, I guess he's only posting. That's So that's the thing. It'll take you a while to go and find the groups that are worthy of your time, right? But still, in this case, we can actually look at the comments of people, right? And although that this is his group, you might not really be taking action against his these people's comments, but you might go and go take a look at Matthew's page here. I can maybe go to Matthew's page, open link in new tab. All right, so I might, can go to his page, go take a look at him. So over here, view main profile. You always want to go to the main profile, right? And that takes you to their actual you know, Facebook page, 
profile, Jen28, so he doesn't post a ton, but a little bit, so it's still, you can maybe look at their posts and you can actually comment on this. Look, he's talking about some sort of superpower, chat GPT, and maybe you can comment on that and engage on his post. Now, the idea with that is that you're engaging on the person's post, so they're going to be noticing you and their notifications or that kind of stuff. So that's one of the ways to grow your audience because they're going to see you engaging on their posts and they're going to maybe follow you because, or, you know, in the case of Facebook, friend you or follow you. Obviously, you want to make sure that people can actually follow you. Uh, that's actually, let's talk about that. If I go back to Facebook itself and I go into my settings, I don't know where that is anymore, but yeah, over here in the settings, um, let's go to settings right here, see if that's where it is. Mm. Oh, there's the professional mode thing I was talking about, right? Turn on uh, badge. Okay, so I don't want that. Perhaps I'm trying to find where the identity at account. No, I want to see where I can specify security and login. No, that's not what we want either. Under, where is the settings I'm looking at? I'm looking for how you enable follow mode, right? Maybe it's under your profile. If I go to my page itself, my profile itself, by clicking my own name right here. Uh, can I go here? Account status, profile and tagging settings. I'm not sure if that's it either, but maybe it is. Profile, tagging, reviewing public posts who can follow oh, there it is who can follow me now in the case of a public a, a, a profile a person a business profile like I enabled you can't do this but um, when you have still a personal profile you're gonna want to make sure this is enabled here which will have an option right here like these things you want to be able to set all these who can post on the comments who can post uh, public post notification public post profile info you want to enable all that because you know you're a business you want people to be able to follow you You want people to be able to see your stuff you want people to be able to comment on your stuff you want that ability otherwise people are going to see your post if they're not friends with you they won't be able to see your stuff they won't be able to comment on your stuff <coughs> so that's one of the things you want to make sure you enable all right so we're still on number one finding them in groups and 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 answering their questions right that's what i was just talking about groups finding groups knowing who they're in who your audience is what they're interested in what they're trying to avoid that and finding them in groups that is the number one number two is creating content they're interested in right so let's go back here so creating content they're interested in right so I talk about creating content they're interested in as the second thing right so what what is that right I mean if I go to my Facebook page um, I was away this weekend so I didn't post a lot I didn't post anything a few pictures of well I guess lots of pictures but of my family and everything so there's not too much engagement there because of just the way how Facebook works uh, so there's lots of content there that's just about my family so obviously as a person who has a family uh, my audience uh, they're interested in that stuff and that's kind of what I'm building right so that doesn't mean you have to be doing that but that's certainly one thing that uh, you would do and then the other thing is I post stuff about my uh, my uh, course income secret stuff I post uh, you know pictures of of sunrises and Valentine's you know family things and you can see that I post things like things like this right belief secret and green to success right I had 14 comments on this I didn't enga I didn't engage on that's the other thing when you are posting content you've got to make sure that you're engaging on the post if I look at this a particular post here right I did not engage on every single one of these and there's even these people that <laughs> these these are uh, those are so uh, that's so like annoying these these scammers like this is funny because Jason Lemire here he actually <laughs> he actually commented back but anyways that's the point you get these people that are scammers on your post that's that will happen when your posts are public and when you allow public comments and some are like, well, I don't want to see those things. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. It does add 
to your post um, visibility in Facebook, but you can still delete, you know, things like that. You can still delete this stuff that is uh, that is uh, not right. Uh, like, you know, these people that are spamming people, right? Delete, I can delete it. That's totally separate from what we're talking about. Um, but here's another, here's another thing, right? Another person that posted a, a link to something, right? So again, I'm going to delete this too. There's no sense in keeping these comments on my post because they're not related to what I'm trying to do. They're, these are just people scamming. They see a post and they're like, oh, this is a post with a bit of engagement. Let's add my own comments in there. Maybe those people will see my comments, which is most likely true. But still, you know, you, you can delete those things. The point is that you get content that your audience is interested in and you create it and you post it. That's when you're going to get uh, engagement on stuff like you know, like this one here, 30 comments, right? So 30 comments on this because it's a post that my audience is interested in. They're actually going to engage on these things. So that's why it's important for you to post things that people are interested in. Okay, that's number two. Number two is create content they're interested in. All right, so number three, engage on their posts. So now when we say engage on their posts, now there's a couple of ways you can do that, right? You can just go through your news feed and engage on the post there right like jane here is one of my friends i can engage on her post right here in the feed and that can kind of work over time that can work right but the issue with that is you're letting facebook decide whose posts you should engage on by like seeing this see leah fig i don't know who that is uh these are ads lisa perlman she's one of my friends sarah is a friend of mine uh, M. Tarek is just because Brendan Brown commented, so it's showing me this stuff, Tracy O'Leary. So these are people that I, lots of them I know and some of them I don't even know. But this Facebook is showing me stuff because Facebook wants me to engage on things that I've never engaged on before, right? Or things that lots, that lots of people engage on. See, this has 83 comments. So that's why Facebook is showing it to me. Even though maybe it's totally unrelated to what, I, what my, I'm interested in engaging on, right? and you go through your feed you can do that now you can do that like i said number three engage on their posts right engage on their posts so what who are they right who are they it's your audience and how do you decide who to engage on that you could go to say your friend list right i can go to my friend list here and i can just go on to well these are friend requests but i can go to oh geez so my friends right here I guess Facebook changes how it does this. So if I go through my list here, I can actually click on their names, right? And it takes me to the page. Actually, this is new. This is not how it used to be. So I can click on these things. Uh, and uh, Jason right here. And I can go engage on this. I'm, I'm not really sure how Facebook organizes this list, right? Is it based on who I engage on the most? Is it based on who I've seen the most? Who posts the most? Is it based on who has more friends? You know, I don't even know how Facebook does this, right? And maybe this is going to work. Maybe you can do that. Maybe you can just go on these uh, on these people's profiles like this and just engage on their posts. It's actually kind of cool to have this list. But what if you want to control how you access stuff? And that's where uh, a tool that I created called Active Group Users comes in. So this is basically a tool that gives you the opportunity to find people in groups that you choose and then you can actually access uh, a list of users that are in those groups, right? So after you've done, you've set it up, you get a list of people that you can engage on their posts. And all you've got to do is just click their name and go visit their profile. Now, there's a whole thing about it. Now, I do a demo every, every uh, Monday or uh, most Mondays anyways, where you can see how to use this tool, but basically it gives you a list of people and you can just, you know, engage on their post. Like if I click on this and then it loads up their uh, summary. And then if I click on it again, it takes me to their actual Facebook profile. So that lets me control whose posts I engage on, right? So in this case, um, Don here, I found in a group, so this is the last post she did, December, well, actually, it's pinned, so, but over here, there's a, she's got a post right here, right, so I can engage on her post, I can actually comment on it, and make, and, and make a, like, let's just do that right now, what a, what a, I'll just say, what a great, um, 
you're doing well what a great reminder Thanks. all right so that's basically she's saying I know things have been so hard but you're doing so well keep going right so that's a nice positive thing it's part of you know some of the online marketers obviously we do this kind of stuff she's got these reels she created and then here's another post right here and I'm just gonna say whoops I'm gonna comment on this as well and I'm gonna say oh thanks and then let's do a third one because I want to show you what I do with the tool too I go through the posts I look at these posts three things to remember this Thursday and then let's just go down here again and say great reminder great reminders all right so now I've I've engaged on three of these posts now what's going to happen is that Don here is going to see my uh, comments in her posts right she's going to see my face she's going to see my profile name in her notifications right if I click on notifications here I get a whole bunch of notifications from a bunch of you know that's because people have seen my comments and they're commenting back and things like that so that lets people see you so then what I do here is just say three and three so now I know that Don I've commented on her posts and I've uh, a comment visited her profile once and this tool keeps track of all that right so that's one thing that the tool does and it lets you engage on people supposed that you choose who to engage on instead of letting Facebook decide for you like I said I have no idea how this is even sorted I don't know if there's a way to organize this list right I didn't even realize I had 3,700 friends I thought I had more like 4,500 friends so that's anyways whatever all right so that's engaging on your friends or whoever's profiles engaging on their posts will make them see you possibly go to your profile possibly follow you and those kinds of things so they'll grow your audience right all right so number four we're almost done here we're on number four now this is an interesting one because this is one of the methods that is taught by lots of leaders following your competition's followers so what does that mean right and how does this work so if I go say for example I'm going through my news feed here well actually let's take this is a good example so Stephanie Odin here Stephanie is one of my friends she's in to affiliate marketing online marketing and we're connected that way and she talks about that all the time so if I go to her profile by just clicking her name here um, oh I guess maybe she doesn't have it public let me see if she's got it in here no she doesn't okay so this is not a good example she doesn't publicly allow that which is you know it's okay understandable really depends on the person but if I go through let's say Vianney Wilson let's go to that person he's got 1,000 followers so there so now he's got 3,000 followers right oops is this okay so now as you can see if I mouse over this it lets me click it so if I click this now it shows me Vianney's followers so these are all the people that are following him right so now I can and if Vianney is one of my target market right if he's one of my competitors more or less right somebody who's building an audience as well in the affiliate marketing niche then that means that lots of these people are interested in affiliate marketing as well so I would go here I just mouse over these and whoops and then over here I would say follow right so now I'm following Luke I'm gonna go to Madison here and she doesn't allow following go here that doesn't allow following let's go to Peter whoops Peter follow there we go so I can go in that, in that whoops so you kind of have to click over all these people and follow them all right so that's all you do you just go like this go through the names now one of the things you got to be careful is there are some limits like Facebook if you follow like 50 people and you've never done this before Facebook is gonna notice it and we'll, probably within a week or so it'll turn off your ability to follow it might even block you it might even make put you in Facebook jail for a while so you got to be careful do maybe five or ten at most um, the first day you do this afterwards you can increase your number of people you're doing it and what will happen is that a few of the people that you follow will follow you back so that grows your audience that way but the thing I want to caution you on this particular strategy is that following people 
isn't really uh, going to necessarily make them buy from you or, you know, like and trust you and whatever. Some of them will. And so it's very low percentage, I guess I could say, that will actually grow uh, truly your audience, right? And sure, they're, you're going to get some new followers, right? You're going to get some new followers by going and following them, right? But it doesn't mean that you're going to get... As you can see, some of these, they don't have following. They don't, right? They don't all allow people to follow them, right? So you you can follow. And also, if you're already following them, you're going to see that it says that you're already following them, right? And obviously, you won't be able to follow them, but you'll be able to unfollow them. So if I go, say, for example, to one of the ones I just followed now. Um, See, it says unfollow. That's because I'm already following Jake, so it'll so unfollow. So I don't necessarily want to unfollow them. But that's what it means to follow your competitors' followers, right? So you want to follow your competitors' followers because these are people that are following somebody who's similar to you or who has some similar interests. Now, I would obviously go do things like Rush. I don't know if Russell Brunson, if Russell Brunson allows you to, if I go to his page... Um, yeah, he probably doesn't have that. He doesn't necessarily allow it, or does it? Is it someplace? So I think that you should be able to say slash followers. Yeah, so it doesn't let you doesn't let you access that. But if I go to if I go back to where we were, yeah, see how I don't know if you can see, but right here it says their name. And then slash followers, right? So you could, in if you wanted to see if anybody has their followers list available, you could just type followers next to their name, right? So if I go to this guy, for example, right? He sent me a friend request. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll just confirm that. <clears throat> so I'll just let him allow me to be, uh, us to be friends. Now, if I go to his profile, whoops. Oh, this one here is a profile ID. So you can't really... Can I see his followers? I can't see his followers. If I go to friends, yeah, there's no, there's following here, who he's following, which is not what we want. I want to know who is following him. I don't want to know who he's following, right? I mean, sure, but still, that just means people that he's following. doesn't mean that these are, right, people that uh, would be worth following back. Let's just go back here to, go back to, <clears throat> so so that's how you follow your competitors followers okay anyways so well, actually I wanted to find somebody else maybe Ray maybe Diane Hockman because Diane Hockman Diane where'd she go why well, was oh because she only has one in there so Diane Hockman right she's got 17,000 followers right so if I click on hers Again, it takes me to slash followers of hers, and then I can follow her followers, right? And that's somebody who's in my space, and she's one of the ones that actually teaches this strategy, or at least says, you know, to, that's fine. Obviously, if you follow somebody's followers, that doesn't mean that you're stealing their business, right? Because if this other person decides to follow you and likes you better than the other one, that's just business, right? You just obviously you don't want to go spam them and tell them things and you know be negative about like you know I would never ever say anything uh, bad about Diane to well even, uh, first I totally think she's amazing but you know if I didn't like somebody I would never go to you know Chris here and say hey you know say negative things about who they're following because they won't like me if I do that anyways right. So you don't want to be spamming them. You don't want to be reaching out to them. You just, just follow them. That's it. And maybe go to their profile and see if they've got posts and engage on their posts, right? That's another thing. But that's that's it. Okay, so last strategy before we finish this off, we're already 34 minutes, is sending friend requests for private messages. So now I will caution you again. That's something that you shouldn't be doing on a, um, you know, just randomly to anybody like you know for example Kevin right here I shouldn't be just going to him and whoops this can stay there and just clicking on add friend right here just randomly 
just because I'm seeing him in the list of followers, you know, all these people, I could do that. But that would not be good. That would not be the way to do it. So what you want to do is you want to go, say, you go to Laura here, right? I go to her page. Oh, look at that cute little baby, right? So this is exactly a perfect example that, you know, I could, for example, send her a message. I could say, whoops, let's move this up here. Move this back into the window so it's seen. Here's my mouse. So I just want to make sure that I have my have this properly centered on my screen. There we go. And let's just make this down here. And let's move my uh, my image, my video, put it over here. All right, because this. So this Laura, for example, I might go to her page. I might be engaging her stuff. I might be liking, commenting on her things, right? And then I can send her a message and say, oh, my God, what a cute, what a cute cover you have of your, um, you know, grand or grandson swimming. Now, obviously, I want to know that that's true. So I would probably go first before sending a message. I would actually look at this picture and I would look at what they're saying here. Three generations. So my little girl started the same way. Now she's 19. So that must be her daughter. That must be her daughter's baby. That must be her, right? Which is really cool. So you would definitely, that's March 2014. So it's been a while. So maybe she really loves that. And that's why she left it there. Does she post regularly? Yes. Yesterday she posted. Oh, no, that's not her. April 28th, 2022. So she hasn't posted in a year. So she might not be somebody that you necessarily want to engage with because they haven't posted in a year, right? So I'm not going to do that right now, but I kind of want to show you. So you would do that. You would send them a message about something you saw on their profile that you really liked, that you really connected with, that you think might be a connection for you and her or him, right? And then you send them a friend request. Then you say, oh, you say, P.S. Or you can do it differently, but sent you friend request. Hope that's okay, right? So then you would send that message and then send them a friend request. Or you do it reverse, right? You send them a friend request first, because sometimes you can't even send them a friend request um, and you might send, <laughs> I've done that before where I've sent the message and then I click the button and it doesn't let me do it for some reason, right? They have to send me a friend request or maybe they don't even have the button to add a friend just because of the way their account's set up, right? So I'm just going to close that, cancel that. But that's the process you go through to add friends to, and then you, of course, will grow your audience because some of them will friend you back or some of them will accept your friend request and they're going to start to see your post, your content and possibly become your uh customers right so that's those are the top five ways to grow your audience on Facebook find them in groups and answer their questions create content they're interested in, engage on their posts follow your competition follow send friend requests and then the other thing is who do you send friend requests to you might want to use active group users as well because over here I can say look at that I sent 55 whoops let's close this 55 messages I sent 10. This shows me how many times I've seen to their profile. I can decide I want to go send friend requests only to people who I've visited at least X number of times so that I know that they've seen me, they've seen my my face and their notifications, and they are interested in maybe hearing from me, or at least when they do, they'll have a clue who I am. So that lets you control that too. So that's another thing you can use this for. All right, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, as always, you can always reach out. And we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.